a Viagra feeling, you know? And now it, it's just, what? just not Viagra feeling, dude. I've not had a Viagra feeling in my life. She's like, oh, yes, I like it when it's this, and I love sucking up. I'd like to be that um, hippie douchebag. Oh, my gosh, she's actually really good. <laughs> uh, backyard Sluts 9. Batman's the only man for you, right? Otherwise, we're getting into Backdoor Sluts number 9 territory, where it's just... <laughs> Around mounds of ass twenty. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I always had cool names like Buff Guy 209 or something. Well, about. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, Shut the I fuck would up. listen to you at a concert. <laughs> Shut your ass up. Hey, what's up, everyone? Frank here, aka the Foxy Grandpa, here with Mike. Today we have a very special edition of the Mundane Adventures, our very first ever video pod here exclusively on Real One Radio. We'd like to give a huge thanks to our boy Rob. For giving us a shot on this channel thank you so much rob uh, we hope we don't let you down we hope we don't let all the listeners down we're gonna do our very best to bring you guys some great entertainment and uh, real quick ted uh something that i i forgot to mention to rob while he was on the show that last time <laughs> he he actually uh like uh nixon mastered that uh that mcdiss track that i wrote <laughs> the one I, I only shared with a few people yeah. um yeah, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that song was actually uh, produced and, and mixed by Rob. So, um, you know, that was that was really cool of him. But yeah, um, just, uh, you know, just a little fun fact there. Um, and, uh, you know, just to kind of uh, uh, switch gears real quick. This is typically like a fun, lighthearted show um, for the people who, who haven't listened to us and haven't uh, heard us before. Uh, our show is really more just like a comedy topical conversation show. And, um, you know, that, that's kind of what we're all about. But I wanted to just real quick um, send out my condolences, thoughts and prayers to all the families affected by the uh, by the tragic events that occurred in Uvalde, Texas. Um, as a parent, that really hit me hard. And, uh, you know, it's just heartbreaking thinking about what those kids went through and what those parents and families are going through. And, um, you know, it was just a senseless, cowardly act. It's just, you know, no need for it to happen. I send all my love to you all. Um, I hope you're able to heal and find peace during this difficult time. And if you'd like to support these families, um, you can find various GoFundMe links um, that support these families, whether it's some of the children directly or like kind of... Um, like uh, collective amounts uh, or collective accounts, actually. Um, you can find a lot of GoFundMe links. So uh, we'll have some in the description if you guys want to help out. And if you can, we strongly encourage you all to do so. Um, every dollar counts, no donations too small. Even sharing the link helps. So whatever it is you guys can do uh, to help, I'd be greatly appreciated. Rest in peace to everyone out, um, to all those kids and the teachers. And um, yeah, so... Uh, without further ado, we're going to switch gears here and get right into it. How the fuck are you, Ted? <laughs> hey, hey, thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, welcome on, welcome on. You know, we're happy to have hey, I'm you. I'm doing good. Woo! I'm doing good. You know, uh woke up this morning, 6 a.m. to watch the F1. Any uh, F1 fans out there, you know, mm -hmm. congrats to us for finally getting to watch this amazing race. Uh, very interesting start but um i'm excited for today you know first mm -hmm. ever video podcast and uh, i get to see your pretty face and they get to see our ugly mugs and oh, yeah so. <laughs> i apologize and get, like, in advance you. <laughs> i apologize in advance for having to see this side of us <laughs> oh it's all good i'm pretty sure you know we're gonna get a few few people out there like <laughs> we're gonna get a few people like oh my god frankie you such a hunk yeah <laughs> We're gonna. I mean, but how you do it? Well, if we can get a couple of those, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, you know, we're doing this fun thing here. We hope that everything goes well for sure. This is our first video oh, yeah. pod ever, but yeah, we're gonna do our best. Um, I finally got around to watching the Batman, and uh, yeah. you know, I, I'd say that it was better than I thought. I was still underwhelmed by Robert Pattinson as far as being Bruce mm -hmm. Wayne. Mm -hmm. He just came across as really emo and depressed and, you know, it's he like, really did. <laughs> yeah, like I get it. Like, you know, Batman's not necessarily a happy guy, but Bruce Wayne is, oh. and you're not supposed to be depressed and angry. You know, if, if you're trying to be this eccentric billionaire, you know, he just came across as just broody, pissed off, 
emo guy. And I wasn't crazy about that. But I mean, the story itself wasn't that bad. It was it was better than I thought. Um, yeah, but did anyway. you imagine that they actually they actually were like they had multiple endings and they were like, we could even extend this even to five hours. I was like, bro, like three, I forgot I was even watching a three hour movie. I mean, I knew I was watching it, but I was like at the time I was like, man, like I'm so ready for this movie to be over. <laughs> three three hours was I would say is is an hour too long for that movie. It was just it, oh, yeah. there. It was just too much sometimes. But um, and I and I don't normally I am the, I'm not normally the kind of bitch about having too much Batman in my life, but it's just, I guess the quality of Batman, you know, it's like, mm-hmm. you know, when you're given like hamburgers, you know, and they just don't taste very good, but they just keep feeding them to you. At some point you're like, I've had enough, <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I, I get you. I get you. Yeah. And I also played destiny again for the first time. And I don't know how long, dude, let me tell you, I, I felt like a grandpa playing that. Like I just, it's, I, it's been so long, you know? And I, I, the analogy I use is kind of like, you know, I felt like I got back with my ex from many years ago and she just totally passed me by. Like, she's just, she's not the same person I, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> she's just way like uh, into so many other things and I just can't keep up anymore. Like these kids and these, even like the AI dude, <clears throat> Even the AI like got my ass kicked by the computers, which never happens. <laughs> never used to happen anyway. We could have a whole nother like mini zone on how like gaming has changed over the years and how it's not the same as it used to be. And that's kind of disappointing because like you know, you, you go back to play Destiny and you're mm-hmm. expecting to get like that same excitement, that old a Viagra feeling, you know, and now it, it's just what? not the same. Viagra feeling, dude. I've not had a Viagra feeling in my life. Me either. I'm Don't not, take I'm those not, kids. Don't I am not those. there at that point yet, dude. So if you are, though, that's that's unfortunate. But uh, one day. So, all right, let's get into the fucking, let's, let's get, get right into the body it. of this show. We're fucking losing <laughs> ourselves here. We're losing our way here. <laughs> uh, Ted, so uh, what would you say is like, your favorite radio show or podcast or even like host so lately uh i've kind of just been like with the same like two or three different podcasts um i usually watch the lad post podcast on the left if anybody's ever heard of it it's like a crime murder show and they kind of like they're kind of like us you know goofballs about everything they're, they know when to be serious and then of <laughs> course uh, forehead fables uh if you're into like gaming and just like weird shit like they're they're ones to listen to and then like, there's this new podcast i don't know if you guys have ever heard of it the the mundane i think adventures of frank and mike those guys are pretty cool yeah those guys are cool cats i i, I have heard of them um they kind of suck if you ask me but <laughs> wow. nah nah of Get course guys some credit over there. yeah <laughs> no they they work hard on it you know they just uh, sometimes you, it's a pity party <laughs> no, i'm just kidding <laughs> Damn. uh no but uh yeah, no. And what is it with you and murder stuff, dude? I feel like you're gonna murder someone someday. You no, watch no, no. last, well, last I mean, time you, you referenced call me Ted Bundy. I mean, yeah, <laughs> you're all about it, dude. And I told you even then, I was like, I picked up some dark vibes from you, dude. <laughs> no, you know, it's it's interesting to me. I, I, you know, me and my sister. That's some like we don't have much in common. But like when we do talk about like what we do have in common, it's usually about like, oh, did you hear about that murder? Or like, bro, did you hear how they got away from that? Like, that, you know, that's how we. How can we do that? Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> no, nah, dude, my wife's the same way. Like, she yeah. watches all those mur- murder shit shows, and like, she's she, I've watched it with her, and she's been like, that's not how I would have done it. I would have done it like this, or I would have done this, and I I was just like, who the fuck did I just marry? Like, I, if I ever go missing or I'm murdered, I, something you know who to fucking look for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. What's so. funny is like, I, but then again, I, I guess like those. I guess I can't even say so, that anymore because now you're also on that fucking murder train. So yeah, there's two yeah, prime suspects like, you know. here. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I love those memes where it's like, and the killer left one strand of hair, and then like it's like some like unfit like very person <laughs> not even unfit it's just some random person like fucking idiot <laughs> like, yeah. if you know what i mean you know what i mean yeah, yeah. Well, uh, luckily for me i only watch i only listen to podcasts i don't watch like the 
like a bunch of the crime stuff mm-hmm. like usually i do that like with my family like late at night like literally like one o'clock in the morning we're like are you guys up you guys want watches <laughs> yeah what about you man no well well for me um i've always was like when i was uh first listening to radio shows and podcasts and stuff um i would say my all-time favorite host is probably howard stern um just like the things he talked about the you know the comedy and he was also like just i felt like he was just really um like educated he didn't come across as like an idiot you know whenever he spoke i just listened i don't know he just had a very distinct voice yeah. and um over oh, for sure yeah super distinct yeah and um also rich eisen um i'm a big nfl fan so he just he i feel like he always had like a good mixture of um like knowledge of, of what he was talking about and also like good comedic timing and stuff. So that's just kind of always something I like to take from guys like them is, is try to know what you're talking about <laughs> and come across as like, you know, someone who understands the topic and not just talking out of yeah. his ass while in, mixing in like some comedy and stuff like that. So um, I also like to listen to like the around the NFL podcast, obviously, because, you know, I'm a football junkie <laughs> and, uh, you know Joe Gatto. He's got a he's got a podcast called uh, Two mm-hmm. Cool Moms, and it's just him and and uh, you know him and his buddy just you know just but like giving advice and being dumb and silly and you know <laughs> I mean <laughs> yeah I also like Conan Conan O'Brien and I, yeah I like Conan I like his his podcast too um, so yeah I would say shows like that that I enjoy listening to just like topical conversations, but they're also funny and stuff. That's kind of what this, this show's modeled after a little bit actually. So I would say that. And, uh, what's, what's kind of a memory that I always remember with Howard Stern is I had like taken a trip with my dad out to like, I don't know, the Hills have eyes or whatever, like six, 10 hour drives away. And we, he would listen to Howard Stern. And I remember this really awkward podcast that I was like this episode I was listening to. And it might have been with like Sarah Silverman or whatever her name is. Mm-hmm. And they're talking about like, you know, El Sexo. And he's like, oh, what's <laughs> the sexo. favorite part of the, of the, you know, the male part? And she's like, oh, yes, I like it when it's this. And I love checking out. I was like, bro. And I was like nine or 10 at the time. And I was like, this is really <laughs> awkward. Why are we listening to this, guy, this dude, podcast right now? <clears throat> tell me why that happened to me the other day, dude. So I have like, um, well, not me. I'm not 10 anymore, right? But <laughs> I, uh, I have like some uh, like some stand up special because I have Apple Music, so like I have all this music on my phone and stuff. And I like to have like the stand up specials from some comedians and stuff. <clears throat> and there was one that where this comedian was talking about, you know, like fucking and all these things, and just talking like you know. <laughs> and and my daughter was in the car, <laughs> and like she was, oh, like, no. yeah, yeah, she was like, she was like hearing this, and I was like, fuck, like. Like the first reference, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, you know, ignore it and act like I didn't hear that. But like, he, yeah, I yeah. forgot that he kept going on about it. So I was like, okay, I gotta change this shit. It just got real awkward <laughs> real quick. So I was like, shit, dude, I, I gotta fucking switch this shit. So yeah, you know, that's, you know, and now that you said that, you remember that when you were little. I'm, I'm assuming she's now, gonna, yeah, now she's gonna remember. She's it. gonna remember it. So it's a fucking shit cycle that we got going here. <laughs> so oh no. It was so awkward as a kid because you're just sitting there like, what do I do? What do I say? I, I don't know how to. What is he talking about? Or... <laughs> yeah. Jeez. All right. We're going to fucking change topics here because this is. Let's go. Yeah. So if you had, you know, and this is kind of like we're on a music, uh, music channel. You know, this isn't going to be necessarily a music pod, but it is going to be the central theme, I guess. So if you had any musical talent, which I think you do what what would you what what talent would you say you wish you had if you don't already have it uh if i don't already have it i would want to play the piano i've always kind of been jealous of people who could play piano because like they go up to like that one piano on the train station like in germany or somewhere and they start like playing mozart and like being badasses on the piano i'm like man i, w- I want to do that and actually like two years ago oh yeah right before covid started I started like I actually bought a piano for like fifty bucks online with my sister, and I started learning the Interstellar like in like one of the crazy songs that are like you need like eight hands to play. And I was like, I got it in the bag. I mm. learned about thirty seconds of that song, and then I gave up, and it's just been sitting <laughs> in my brother's closet now. <laughs> yeah, that was you. What about you? Um, 
if I had to say, Thanks. yeah, that was you. <laughs> um, if I had to say, I wish, I wish I knew how to sing, and I wish that I could play the guitar. I'd like to be that, um, you know, I don't know what the word is, like hippie douchebag that <laughs> carries an acoustic guitar around everywhere he goes. Yeah, and he's like, you know, he's just playing his in like a coffee shop, but like when he yeah. starts singing, it's like, oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's, it's actually like, really good. <laughs> it's always like uh, <clears throat> situational too. Like it could be like, don't be sad, get glad, like super like hippie or whatever like you're into. Like fucking <laughs> dog died. Your dog just died, but we're okay. Like, yeah, see, you know, whatever the case. That kind of guy. Case, that kind yeah. Of guy. <laughs> yeah, no, I um I wish like I could I could play the guitar and sing. I always just kinda like I don't know. That was just something I wish I always was able to do. Like, I, I've always kind of envisioned myself being someone who was able to serenade, you know, when I'm trying to, mm. to win over the love of a woman. Uh, mm -hmm. But I just, I can't sing. And I try to play the guitar ones. I try, I remember I found, I think there were like YouTube videos on like guitar lessons for, for beginners. And it was, it was fun, like, you know, like learning, but I don't know what it is. It was weird. Like I had never gotten tired or sleepy learning to play something. Oh, and I man. felt like maybe I was just exhausting my brain <laughs> from like trying to coordinate my hand. Yeah, it was just too much for me. Like I don't know. Like I was just I remember when I was done, I was like, dude, I'm fucking exhausted. <laughs> like I felt so tired just trying Definitely. to fucking play the guitar. So I would say I that if I if I had any musical ability, um, that would be the talent I wish I had. I mean, in fact I when I used to rap, it was because I couldn't sing or anything. That's, I mean, <laughs> I feel like ideally I would have been a singer or something <laughs> like that if, if it were up to me. And yeah. my grandpa used to be actually a singer too. He used to sing in, in this band. Um, they they call him Conjuntos. Well, he was, he was a musician in Mexico and he played like the violin and, and um, yeah, he, he was like also a singer and stuff. So I don't know, maybe it's just naturally in my blood to want to sing, but uh mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, I didn't get that talent, unfortunately. So, but I sing in the shower and I sing in the car when no one's around. And in there, I give these incredible, incredible shows <laughs> to all my millions of imaginary audiences. So, yeah. I'm that guy. I'm that guy who like sings his ass off inside of a car. I turn my mu music all the way up and I just sing. I sing my little heart out. and Not a care in the world, just singing your heart out. <laughs> well, there are some cares. <laughs> There are some cares because if I pull up next to a next to a driver, I yeah. pretend like I'm <laughs> yawning like, or something. Or like, no, I leave it up. I just pretend like I'm yawning or something, you know. I'll be like, oh, and then if I see him, I'm like <laughs> <laughs> so, so I don't look stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? The so. only time I ever wish I could sing was like if you ever go to like I don't know. If you're if you're like Mexican heritage and you got to like your family parties and like your uncle, your feels back there singing like Vicente, like super like strong and proud. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, like that man's voice, he, he could serenade me to the moon. Mm -hmm. Like that's the only time I wish I could sing. I mean, stuff like that's like amazing. But you and can, Ted. Like, do you remember when McDonald's used to sing your song? You don't song? remember? Me llamo no. Miguel. Oh. <laughs> Dude, okay, hold on, everyone. So this fucking guy right here, when we were at McDonald's, he would fucking, I don't know if it was, I don't know why it came like to him to, to sing like that, but there was one time where we were all just like working and this fucking guy breaks out in mariachi style singing and decides to just sing that his name is Miguel to all of us. Yep. Don't know why or where it came from. It just grew in his heart and he thought it was a good idea. <laughs> And, you know, what uh, probably really happened was, like, I probably broke mentally, and that was my way of handling things. <laughs> that was a daily occurrence, too, by the way. Breaking yeah, mentally yeah. was a daily oh, occurrence. Yeah, just every sure, day, dude. Every yeah. day, we're like, what the fuck are we doing? And just, we turn into these mindless zombies, so. Man. <laughs> uh, Your so, brother, though, could actually has vocals. He does. You know, that's the thing. It's like, Marito can sing if he just took it serious and he didn't seem like a moron like on purpose he actually he can hit some high pitched notes but see he'll do stupid things like he'll sing and then he just turns it into a stupid song about like being an idiot you know and then yeah yeah and and he'll sing like a jenny rivera song i, mm -hmm. I you know he, that's his deal he's he's into he's into that 
and he sings it nicely, but then like, I don't know if he just finds himself wanting to become an entertainer, you know, <laughs> instead of just like a good singer. While in like mid song, yeah, yeah. he'll totally switch his style. And he'll go from like singing as, as as best he can to just singing like an idiot, you know? It, it must be like he feels embarrassed or he feels the need to make people laugh, but he can actually sing. He just, he doesn't take it as seriously as he should, I guess. I remember that one time we went to uh, the lake. We were all in the car and your brother just starts singing the Pokemon theme song. <laughs> and right when that high-pitched note comes out, like he's singing his heart out and the whole car was like, ah! We got to get that moron on the show. <laughs> I'd be down for that. Yeah, so. All right. Well, now we know. Now everybody knows our hopes and dreams and our failures as musicians. <laughs> <laughs> um, now we're going to go ahead and uh, switch it over to our next topic here. Are there any movies that you're looking forward to that are coming up? Uh, Backyard Slits 9. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. The ninth installment of an incredible <laughs> franchise. <laughs> Uh, but seriously, Maverick, do you like, I've been, I've been wanting to, to watch that movie and I remember it was supposed to come out like COVID time and then obviously that got delayed and someone's like, recently someone's like, have you seen the movie yet? I was like, bro, I didn't, I thought it was coming out next year's, apparently it's already out. So I'm like, I'm going this week. I'm going to go watch it, baby. And, uh, other than that, um, can't really think of much of any, oh, Doctor Strange for sure. I really want to see Doctor Strange. And the very first one, I was like, movie's whack. I don't ever want to watch it. You know, <laughs> I dreaded watching it. And then I finally watched it. I was like, bro, that was like mind blowing. Like, that was a badass movie. So I'm very excited for this next one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I uh, never watched Doctor Strange, but I have seen like uh, some of the um, like ads or whatever for it. And it just looks like a real visual spectacle mind fuck sort of a movie so i don't know yeah. for me it's like you know i mean like i guess I, I don't know just superhero movies in general these days just don't catch my attention anymore really it's just for me it's just batman and then that's it <laughs> so batman's the only man for you right yeah there you go there you go so um but uh yeah so if i had to say uh looking forward to that jurassic park movie um when I was little, I remember watching the first one with my dad all the time. And, uh, you know, I still remember seeing that. Remember that scene where the like the jeeps flipped over and, you know, the yeah. T-Rex just his his face appears in the window and you just see his eye like this, <laughs> <laughs> you know, or whatever. So that that was uh, that was just really cool. And then we watched the rest the other ones in the franchise and, you know, they were whatever. But like the one with uh, Chris Pratt, this last one that came out, that one was pretty cool. You know, I enjoyed it. Uh, and I am a Chris Pratt fan, so um, I think that uh, that 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 would be one that that I'm interested in seeing. And also Black Adam, um, just because you know he's typically a villain, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I'm assuming they're going to take a similar route to like what they did with Venom, and uh, you know, and I mean The Rock's like. I used to watch wrestling and stuff. He wasn't my favorite wrestler or anything, but like you know, I know The Rock and I, I enjoy his work and stuff. So I, I think it'll be interesting to see him be, or I guess he's Dwayne Johnson now, but <laughs> it'd be interesting yeah, to see yeah. him be a be like a like a superhero or Nancy an hero or whatever. And uh, you know, it'd, it'd be cool to kind of just see you know what what direction they go in, and then and then the other, last thing I'd say is probably Fast Ten. Fast and Furious 10, just because I wanted to fucking end already. Like, <laughs> you know it's what really I mean? End, though. <laughs> I just, I hope so. I don't know. That's, that's just my guess. I mean, at 10, you got, you have to stop at 10, right? Mm. Otherwise we're getting into backdoor uh, sluts number nine territory. Or you, just you never know, bro. <laughs> around mounds of ass 20. You know what I mean? Like it's, <laughs> we're getting into that territory where it's like, it's just fucking chaos and mayhem. Like the first one, there was like some sort of like this, you know, simplicity to it you know you're just these street racers and they're doing like heists and you know it's all stuff that's like yeah that 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 could happen i guess you know like it's just there was like a simplicity to it this innocence (laughs) and now it's fucking obnoxious just over the top everything is fucking crazy bullshit you know what i mean but it's, it's a good it's a good popcorn flick it's fun to you know just Go watch and you know suspend your belief and you know, but like like I said, I just 
I'm at a point where I'm like, fuck, another fast movie's coming out, dude. Like, I just want to see it end already. I want to know. Uh, to me, I'm like, I, I want to see it just end. I, I would like these characters to just go off and be at peace with the rest of their lives and never again. You know, that's it. Just, you know, I, I just want it to end. <laughs> so honestly, I think the last one I saw was like they were in like the two chargers, like, like carrying the safe around town like in new york or something i don't know that i i don't even remember watching that movie to be honest so mm. i've i i've honestly got to say i i stopped watching the fast series yeah and i don't blame people who do you know like because like i said if if it were up to me i probably would stop too but i just i feel like i've invested so much time and effort and emotion into that that i'm just like i need to be around <laughs> like i had to watch it. i have to you know it was just like it was just like watching the batman like I didn't care to watch it, but I was like, if if I, I've devoted so much to being a Batman fan in my life, that mm -hmm. I just it it, it was almost like a chore. <laughs> it's just like I have yeah, to do yeah, it, yeah. you know. <laughs> or it's like a job, you know, like just a test at a job. Like, okay, if you're gonna be all about Batman, you have to watch it. And yeah. and I and I watched it, and you know, it felt like a chore at times. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not gonna go back into I, that. I can all righty so you know, i wouldn't be surprised if they actually uh start making like a tv series like on hbo or something like a special mm -hmm. with the fast and furious because they they just continuously keep pushing i mean they might as well they might as well if you're gonna fucking keep milking that cow you know just fucking make it a tv <laughs> show i mean at least if yeah. it's a tv show you're like okay like i know that i'm not waiting for it to end because it's this episodic series and you know yeah i don't know when i want it to end i want to just keep enjoying it and um mm -hmm. you know but like if you're making fucking 10 movies in a franchise you know you're getting into backdoor sluts number nine territory where it's just like <laughs> this has gone on far far too long <laughs> so um what someone's actually gonna be there like someone's actually gonna like look it up today like backyard sluts style like let's see what this is all about these guys reference it three times yeah so south park but, everybody south park and, i don't know if it's a real thing yeah, I don't know. You, someone will look it up. You know, you know how the internet is. Um, let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know what you find. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, so we're going to take a quick break, pay some bills, and then we will be right back. What's up, guys? I'm Mike. And I'm Frank, a.k.a. The Foxy Grandpa. Come check out our new podcast, The Mundane Adventures of Frank and Mike, now available on Anchor and Spotify. All right, and we're back. So in uh, this week, we're going to wrap it up here with Musical Corner. Okay, so musical corner, just topical conversation regarding, you know, in this case, music. So, um, <laughs> so this week's basically a random shit on music. So just a <laughs> random topic here. Uh, we're gonna discuss the most famous one-hit wonders of the two thousands and where they are now, according to Billboard. So Ted, why don't Billboard. you take the lead here? Yeah. So coming in at number five, a lot of you know this song. Um, <laughs> I, I would assume everybody knows the song Laffy Taffy by D4L. <laughs> uh, pretty much, like, they only made music from, like, 2003, 2006 until, you know, R.I.P. Shoddy Low. Uh, you know, after that, they kind of just went their separate ways and really haven't really become anything big except, like, their songs being overplayed dun, on TikTok. Dun, dun, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Shake that Laffy Taffy. That Laffy Taffy. Dance that song shake too, that Laffy right? Taffy. Huh? Or was there a song? Oh, I'm sorry. Was there a dance to that song, or am I just like imagining things? I would imagine probably just this thing. Dun, like, yeah, dun, like dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and that's go. gotta <laughs> be like, where. That's gotta be where. Um, what was that fucking song? The guy who's saying "Walk it out." God, there was another one. Walk it out and walk it. Out. Now you fucking. Dun, dun, Fabo, Mobi, Stony. Uh, there was one more. Hang on, no. So it was it was walk it out and oh my god, I can't remember. I can't believe I can't remember the that first one. I was walk it out the first one because then he ended up doing a two step. Oh yeah, I think walk it out was the first one. Anyway, that that really was like the whole trend what they had going in Atlanta where you're doing, yeah. doing, doing, doing you know didn't. Dude, brings, two step, a two step. Now going in two step. Back to my, uh, going in two step. Middle school years. <laughs> that was me in high school, dude. And I was a sophomore. Uh, you know, yeah. You were probably like those hip kids, like doing all the dances. Like, hey guys, look uh -oh. at me. Look what I can do. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Yeah, I had I had on the baggy shorts, the baggy jean shorts, the baggy shirts, the hats. So, like, I was a guy doing the 
you know, cranked as Superman when he was hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't yeah, do it anymore. Was, you were like one of the coolest guys around. You were a cool cat. You were a cool cat. You know, it's weird. Um, it didn't work for me. I was still very much a loser. <laughs> you were like, <laughs> so, you learned the songs and everything and it, nothing it, worked. It didn't, it didn't do it, what it did for everyone else. But, you know, yeah. it was just, I don't know. It was I was just still that kid, I guess. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. What's the next one? All right. So coming to number four, This Is Why I'm Hot by Mims. This um, is what? This is what? This is why yeah. I'm hot. I'm hot because yeah, I'm flat. Music is my savior. Yep, I remember this. I remember so, when this song. Oh, good. No, no. Give us the fun facts. Finish. I'll give my rebuttal after. All right, all right. So <laughs> what's really interesting about him was like he didn't. I don't think he re- from what I was getting, he didn't really like what he was doing with music and how it, his direction was going. So he actually made an app called Re- Recordgram, which you know a lot of the musicians on here might already know, but now it's known as Creator App, and it's kind of like Instagram, just like for musicians where they could like you know, post something, get feedback or share ideas, which I thought was pretty cool. So now that's what they do. They do like, you know, apps pretty much. Guys, if you're into that, just send your music in to slap or crap. I mean, that's, this, that's, that's, that's what they're doing. That's what Rob's doing, you know? So let's, let's unplug this, plug in slap or crap, slap or, or crap. even bump it or dump it and just yep. get our listeners over there. Well, they're already there, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> anyone who listens to podcasts in the audio format that may not be, that may not be familiar with Real One Radio on YouTube, by the way. Look up Dubtown Rob Real One Radio. Um, that's where you can find all this. Yeah. If you're a musician out there and you're trying to share your music, you can send in your music to them and they'll they'll give you like live reactions, you know, they'll give you the slap or crap votes and you know, you see how you do there. So yeah, that sounds like what Rob's already doing anyway. So yeah. That's cool though. I think it's cool when musicians do things like that to to help out others, you know, get their music out there and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, that's exactly what Rob's doing, like you said. Yeah, it's just kind of funny that, uh, you know, he, he didn't like music, but his name stands is an acronym for Music Is My Savior. <laughs> I remember when this song came out, um, I want to say MySpace was still a thing. Yeah, it was definitely oh, MySpace because no. you, you can put your username, yeah. whatever you want it to be. And I remember a lot of guys had, this is why I'm hot as their username. <laughs> Man. I was never one, one of them, I promise. No, okay. I was never okay. one, I promise. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. I always had cool names like Buff Guy 209 or something. Okay, okay. Papi Chulo 209. That was the one. That was the one. Papi Chulo. Nah, nah. Papi Chulo 209 was the one. And I have Uh, been called that. After I asked that girl to call me that, she called me that. (laughs) All right. So that's how that worked. I'm kidding. That's how that worked, you know. So, all right. What's the next song? Uh, Coming to number three, we got Butterfly by Crazy Town. Um, The group pretty much broke up in 2003. And then two former members came back in 2007. They keep making songs, but nothing really can, like got back up there. Which and is if you guys, interesting because they're still touring. <laughs> really? <laughs> if you guys don't yeah. know what that song is, because we didn't. I, you know, I had to look it up because I couldn't mm-hmm. remember. It's that song that goes, come my lady, come, come my lady. You're my butterfly, sugar, baby. Do you see why <laughs> I say I wish I could sing? Do you see this shit? <laughs> Do you hear this? This is what that the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, Shut the I would fuck listen up. to you at a concert. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your ass up. Anyway, that's the song. And I don't even know. I want to say that song was on Fast and Furious. The Fast and the Furious, the first one. I want to say I, I remember hearing that song on there right it. before they raced a Ferrari. Or was it a Ferrari? Yeah, it was a Ferrari where he pulls up next to him and he's like, more than you can afford, pal, Ferrari. I think that's what he said. I don't know. It's been so long since I've seen that movie. Anyway. You have I, an incredible oh, memory, no. bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, now I'm thinking it's it's Superstar. I don't know. I, I feel like that song was on there, though. Maybe not that scene, but I feel like it was on that I'm movie. I'm pretty sure all these songs except for the first one, which was the first song is actually really shocking to me. I don't know if it'll shock anybody else, but definitely shocked me. Yeah. You ready for number two? All right, let's go. Number two is Lean Back by Terror Squad. Um, R.I.P. Big Pun, who passed away mm-hmm. from a heart attack, replaced by Remy Ma. I they never play. really uh, found their way back up to the top after that. And so I don't know if they're actually making music or not. I don't think they are. I think they're like, they're deactivated, like on what else <laughs> I think they're just like? like, probably, if anything, probably just like singles or, you know, not, I don't even know if they're, I wouldn't even say they're doing it together. You know what yeah, I mean? Maybe like I think maybe stuff. they're just like doing stuff on their own. Um, I feel like a lot of people or like musicians from this era was they've kind of just completely split. Like the groups aren't maybe not as big as they used to be, except for like if you're like, you know, 
boy bands nowadays or k-pop <laughs> But. Yeah, I don't know. Like it's you know, I remember when that song came on and it was like the big thing, you know, lean back, lean mm-hmm. back, mm-hmm. lean back. Everyone was doing that, you know, when the sun came on in the club, aka the school dance. And um <laughs> <laughs> and uh everyone just thought they were real cool doing it, you know. But I actually like the remix better. Really? <clears throat> that was they had a remix, remix with yeah. like Mace, Eminem, uh Mace, Eminem, and uh Remy Ma. Well, she's in Terror Squad, so um, that was stupid. <laughs> um, Maze Eminem and somebody else. I, oh, Lil John. <clears throat> but I like that one because it was one of those remixes where they didn't just use the same beat or whatever. Like they actually yeah. modified it a little bit, and I like the second beat better too. So um, yeah, check it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a good. You probably have heard it. I think you just don't remember it. But uh, oh, when it yeah. came out, it was it was good. I, I still have it on my phone actually. <laughs> Eminem's final line was hard. Yeah. Baby, I don't dance. Not that I can't. There's a pistol in my pants. Eminem's <laughs> <laughs> always been a fucking... Me. Huh? <laughs> what happened? So I'm going to get that tatted on me now. <laughs> Baby, I don't dance. Not that I can't. There's a pistol in my pants. <laughs> that was a good... That was the hardest fucking line, dude. All right. All right. So what's number one here? Let number me get one. you a drum roll. Let me get you a drum roll going. All right. Let's hear it. Number one. I don't see those hands moving, man. Oh, sorry. All so- right. <laughs> yeah, I did it with one hand. That's all. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number one, "Bad Day" by Daniel Porter. He has to hit top one hundred since that song, and he still makes music. And he has a daughter. That's all I was able to find out about him. But hey. he doesn't have a bad day anymore. You don't. Yeah, I guess not. But honestly, I wonder if like, he sings that to his daughter. That. I wonder if he sings that to his daughter when she has like a bad day at school. Bro. And I'm she's like, sure "Okay, she's honey, like, let me it. let me let's 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 get you over here into the couch." <laughs> And I'm going to sing you this song for the... Th- You've only heard Hold it on, a million times. Guitar. You're going to hear it the Does million it? and first time. So here we go. Because <laughs> you had a bad... Shut the fuck up, Dad. I'm tired of your shit. God. Dude, I would honestly be like, Dad, I'm so... Like, I'm cool, happy for you. But stop playing your <laughs> I just failed song, my man. final, asshole. I don't give a fuck about your song right now. <laughs> God, shut oh, up. Man. He takes his guitar and smashes it. There. Now, who had a bad day? Who had a bad day? <laughs> you, fucker. You. <laughs> Sing yourself that song. Uh, Ass wipe. <laughs> that's oh, a very man. mean daughter. Damn. She's probably had it with that fucking child. song. Dude, I hear it everywhere to this day. Imagine her. She's probably fucking over it. <laughs> probably changed her last name. Nah. <laughs> oh, nah. But you know what? His last name's Powder. He powder pouts. like he's pouting he probably yeah pouted okay while he was making that's why he had that makes sense now that i mean it's like it that. had to be it was meant to be it had to be you know probably. if you have your Destiny. last name like that you should be a debbie downer <laughs> you have no other choice you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> all yeah, right that, that was their uh top five uh, one hit wonders of the 2000s and that now you know where they're at now yeah so and you know Take that piece of information, chew on it, digest it, give it to your friends, you know, Mm -hmm. enjoy it. (laughs) Uh, We hope uh, you guys uh, enjoyed that. And if you do ever have any random musical corner ideas or topics you'd like to discuss, you're always welcome to send them in. So now we're going to just start uh, to wrap things up here. Uh, Guys, remember to uh, follow us if you did enjoy this episode on uh, on Instagram at Mundane Frank and Mike. Also on TikTok at Mundane Podcast. Um, spot when you can listen to our, our uh, podcast and other episodes that we've done before, including the one that includes Dubtown Rob. Um, you can listen to us on uh, Spotify. Wow. Man, I, I just fucking, I am unraveling oh, here. Now, now <laughs> you know how I feel. <laughs> you know, and I was doing so good too. You were. On, you did amazing. You, you can listen to us on fucking Spotify. <laughs> there you Apple go. Apple Podcasts, Anchor. And uh, there, you know, you can ask us questions. Uh, uh, obviously, we hope you guys uh, interact with the podcast or the show. Uh, send us in topics you'd like to hear us discuss. Um, you know, if you have any questions or whatever, you know, that we, you know, if you ever want people's takes on, you can always give us, give, send us in your questions. And then, you know, obviously listeners would then interact with the topic as well. Um, if you'd like to be a guest on the show and promote your music, that's also something that we're interested in doing. It doesn't even have to be music. If you know, you're somebody who, uh, you're a fucking juggler or, you know, you build birdhouses or some <laughs> shit. That's really something you want to promote on there. Now. 
you know, whatever, dude, if you want to come on and promote or, you know, just kind of have some things to, you know, that you'd like to push out there, you know, you're welcome to reach out to the show and, you know, hopefully we'd like to get you on the show and we can discuss your juggling, <laughs> your birdhouses. Can't but in all seriousness, you know, musicians <laughs> for sure, people and got any projects going on and things like that. Um, that's obviously something that, you know, if you want to, if you're looking for a platform to promote, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of trying to do the same thing that Ted's, or I'm sorry, Rob's doing uh, with helping people promote and stuff. So yeah, if that's something that, you know, you feel like you want to come on, you know, and talk about or whatever, then, you know, absolutely reach out to the show and we'll, we'll get something going. Um, sure. and then be a part of the podcast too, and the show in general by interacting, you know, um, comments, questions, whatever, you know, just be a part of it. Uh, we always do polls on Spotify. Um, I don't know, Ted will come up with a, with a poll for, for this episode, but you know, go ahead and vote on them, you know, just be a part of the show. We like, we want this show to be as interactive as possible. So, yeah. uh, definitely, definitely, uh, you know, get involved. You know, we, we, we hope this podcast is as interactive as possible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, all righty, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here for real now. And we're going to start off, uh, just once again, by thanking Rob so much for allowing us to come on the show, uh, for giving us a shot here. We hope you guys, you guys enjoyed the show. Um, and we hope to have entertained you to no end. This was a lot of fun for me, Ted. Yeah. Yeah, it was 10 out of 10. Would recommend coming back on again if, if you guys allow us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to do this again sometime if you guys will have us. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Thanks again. Uh, keep it locked right here on Real One Radio. If For more great content and more awesome shows, stay safe, everyone. Do something nice for someone today, and we'll catch you down the road. See you later. Later. <laughs>